Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel and today I'm at another nature reserve. This one is called La Loch Ardenning. It's in Stirlingshire. Uh, it's actually not that far from the camp seas. So I'm going to go for a, a wee wander and see what I can find. Uh, hopefully you'll, en I'll enjoy this video. And if you do enjoy the video, if you enjoy my channel, please click on that subscriber button. Please click on the notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments. And I, I will, I'm pretty sure I did see online that there was a website for this nature reserve. So I'll try and kind of link that into the description bar below. Uh, so if you're interested in coming along and uh, visiting this place, then you can. Uh, just to let you know, it's if you are coming to visit this place, there's like a lay-by where you can park your car. I think there's like space for two cars and it's right on the main roads. So you do have to be very much very aware of parking and of traffic. So again, if you are coming to visit, be aware of that. But I'm going to shut up now, go for a wander and let you all see what's happening. Yeah, it is on the main roads. That's uh, the road down to Strathblane. That's the road that takes you back towards Glasgow. And so that there is another lay-by up there where you can park. Or you can park in here. There's a lot of space for two in there. And the hills over there, that's the Campsie Fells, or just the Campsies. So, so it's Loch Ardenning Wildlife Reserve. Yeah, so it's the Muir House Muir. Um, Muir, if I remember correctly, is a Scots word for moor. So, so, I think where I'm parked just now is the old quarry. So, let's go, go for a wee wander. Nice wee information board. It's done a wee look through it. Um, according to this, they do get uh, black grouse in the area. And according to this, there's a, a rock to the northwest of the loch that's known as Battle as, as Cat Creek or Battle Rock. I suppose, like, according to this, it's the, the, the kings from ancient Cumbria and Northumbria fought battle there. So, gonna go for we wander up here. Yeah, there's a bit of a kind of crag over there. I wonder if that was Battle Craig, or it might just be part of the old quarry. Maybe, maybe just part of the old quarry. I'll keep walking and try to see if I can see anything else that might be of interest. I'm not too sure if we can quite make this out in the video, but it's uh, just in the far distance. Uh, I'm sure that's Ben Lomond. 
I'm sure you can see one in the shoulders. So, yeah. We're not that far from the trussocks. Yeah, I have to admit, I hadn't actually thought that there was going to be this much to explore at Locker Dinning. Uh, from what I've seen in the map, it looked like it was going to be quite a small nature reserve, quite a wee place. But there's de definitely more wee paths and tracks than I'd realise. So you could probably spend, spend at least a couple of hours up here, just having a right good wander and a right good wee explore. So I'm gonna keep going for I'm just gonna keep wandering. Try to see what else I can find. And just enjoying being in nature. Just a nice wee view or kinda of quite an open view of the surrounding countryside. That'll be the loch down there, just down through the trees. So I think if I continue on that path over there. That should take me down closer to the loch itself. Well, I managed to get to this viewpoint uh, just above the loch. So that's the uh, loch or dinning down there. And I'm going to give you of the campsies over there. I think, try and zoom in a wee bit. I think that's the Campsie Glen. Uh, is that the Campsie Glen? I'm not too sure. Uh, that's uh, the Campsie's over there. And there's a, I think there's a viewpoint up there. So I'm going to try and see if I can get up to that. And see what, see what I can see. This seems to be the, the the summit of this view ridge, and yeah, I really give you the campsies. It's only when you kind of you're standing up somewhere like this, you realise how big the campsies actually are, and yeah, as usual, always kind of seeing it's like once you get past the campsies. That's that, that's you in the Highlands, and again, I'm pretty sure on a clear day when it's when it's not hazy like today, you would probably get an even clearer view of the trussocks over there. Yeah, get a really good wee viewpoint. So it's the. Uh, the loch back down there. Yeah, I'm just hoping this makes sense. Uh, well, from where I'm sitting just here, I can just about make out what looks like some cars parked about halfway up. Uh, the ca the campsies over there, that kind of road leading the way, kind of over the the campsies again, and actually. Made a wee brief visit to the campsies a, few, uh, about a couple of weeks ago. I've kept pulled into a car park, and I think that's it, just over there. You probably can't make it out in the camera, but yeah. So I only can imagine to drive along about half of the the campsies themselves. But the view's still gorgeous, and I will probably need to get get back and do a proper walk. Uh, along the campsies. Be a lot to explore up there. Loch Ardenning. Well, that's me back from my little wander around Loch Ardenning. So if you are thinking about coming to Loch Ardenning, it's on the main road, I think it's the A81, A83. Uh, I'm not, uh, but it's on, it's, on, it's on the main road between 
Glasgow and Strathblane. And as far as I know, there isn't a train station in Strathblane. So it is kind of probably one of those kind of sites where, yeah, yeah, I have to have a car or speak very nicely to somebody you know who does have a car. Uh, then again, it's a gorgeous wee area. It's, a, it's beautiful just to kind of come and go, and go for a wander and go for an explore. And um, even on a day like this where it is a bit, bit hazy, bit overcast, bit on the chilly side. At least it's dry. You can always wrap up against the cold. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Uh, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.